So in today's video i will show you how to display splash screen in your react native application this will work for new architecture as well as old architecture so don't worry about it and i have seen a lot of people what they do is to create a splash screen they will create a javascript or a typescript file inside your react native project itself this is wrong because if you are learning or running on a low android device uh, you, as soon as you open app uh, you will see that there is a wide screen at the start so that means your splash screen is not configured properly uh, do not uh, configure your splash screen via J javascript and typescript also i have noticed a lot of third party libraries do that so uh, to be honest you don't need to rely on a third party library uh, for configuring splash screen natively all you have to do is create your react native project then uh, for ios uh, just uh, open your launch screen storyboard and here what you can do is uh, you, if you don't want this rn app you can just remove this just delete this delete this as well just press delete button and i want but i have kept it uh, just to be uh, you know as uh, like I, I was not interested in deleting it that's why i have kept it and here i have added one image view so you can go over here just search for image and just drag and drop at the uh, center then you can just click on these two button horizontally and vertically in center and here just click on this and give some appropriate width and height as well so i have already done that and i have also added this uh, image uh, inside my assets as well so okay and i'm just referencing over here that image so yeah that's it for ios you that's how simple it is i will show you guys the output so you can see you uh, that uh, the splash screen was uh, displayed uh, similarly i will show it for android as well so i'm running on an extremely low android device so as you can see there is a green background and the mid image is displayed at the center that's how a uh, splash screen are displayed on android you can't really configure it too much like ios okay now it is loading the javascript bundle and later on uh, it will display the main content okay so yeah so for android what you have to do is open your project inside android studio next go to build.gradle and here you will have to add this dependency and dot uh, core splash screen next you will have to create colors.xml if this file is not already present and just add a whatever background color you want i have added a green color just so that it is clearly visible to us next inside uh, styles.xml uh, you will have to add these two lines and here you will re refer green uh, refer your color whatever you have added and here you will refer launch underscore background so we will create this file first so inside drawable as you can see i have created this file and i have added this bit of code and here we are just referencing this uh, lake uh, image okay and this is my image all right so i have added one image to our drawable folder as well next what you have to do is go to java folder rn app main activity dot java and here you will have to override this method so here you can see that i am actually so you, yeah you can remove this replace with a lambda so you can see much easier code okay that's fine so you just have to override this bit of code uh, otherwise keep it as it is okay uh, your wish you can keep it as it is and just override so here you can see the splash screen gets displayed and immediately after a few milliseconds it is uh, removed but if you want to run some kind of a logic uh, you can do that as well inside splash screen for i am not showing that uh, for that you can check out philip lackner's youtube channel uh, he has already done that uh, so suppose you want to check whether the user details are present in our cache or not so that kind of logic you can check inside splash screen and once that is done you can either move to login screen or move to the dashboard screen or main screen whatever your app has so yeah that's how it works thank you for watching